now on Coast TV News. It's a wintry evening here along the coast. I'll be tracking the warm temperatures throughout the overnight hours and when snow can move back into the area coming up in just a few minutes. Snow is falling down and people are heading to the store. People all along the coast today looking for the things they need to weather this snow. And bad weather equals bad roads. What Del Dot is doing to keep the pavement passable. Plus, we have tips for winter driving. And casting ballots, voters in Iowa bundled up and making sure they have a voice in the first presidential primary of the year. We'll look at the early results. Scary moment, a car crash into a building, the store that this happened at in Salisbury. This is Coast TV News at 11. Good evening, I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Mallory Metzner has the night off. Welcome to our news at 11. We begin tonight with snow on the coast. Let's take a live look outside into the Lewis area and you can see some of the wind blowing that flag around. Our first alert chief or our first alert meteorologist rather Alex Seymour joins us now with a look at our weather. Alex, not only when does this start, when does this end? Yeah, so we're going to already see some of that snow wrap up. We already have seen it wrap up in many locations here along the coast. A few areas still holding on to some of that sleet or freezing rain that we have transitioned over to as some warmer air moves into the upper atmosphere. It's also warmed up just at the surface at the beaches where we're well above freezing now at this time. Inland, though, Spice Brothers Construction Camera at Salisbury University. You can see the snow coating the ground. A little less than an inch of snow fell in Salisbury, 31 degrees currently there, so we still could be dealing with some slippery spots on those roadways in Salisbury. But rain snow line, that has been progressing north. We're likely dealing with just plain rain showers in Lewis right now. Still that wintry mix, though, across northern Sussex County, Route 9 corridor north. We're dealing with that freezing rain. We're dealing with that sleet, so you want to be careful as you're hitting the roadways. There is still a lot of moisture left with this storm. It goes all the way back to Tennessee. So we're actually going to transition over to rain showers tomorrow morning. And then we may actually see another period of some snow showers as we head towards tomorrow afternoon as cold air rushes back into the area. Right now, we're actually seeing our temperatures rise much warmer than what we were during the 6 and 5 o'clock newscast. 36 degrees in Rehoboth Beach, 38 in Bethany Beach. So no problems on the roadways there. It's where we're seeing these temps, 32 in Lewis, 32 in Milton, 30 in Milford, 29 in Greenwood, that we're still dealing with those roadway issues. Everybody will clear up for the morning, though, for that morning commute. Thank you, Alex. And for more weather updates, make sure you pull out your phones, scan the QR code for our first alert weather app. You can download that app for free to get all the weather updates you need. With all this weather, Sussex County stores full of shoppers today in excitement and anticipation of the snow. People bundled up for their journeys out to stock up on those supplies. Live in Milton is Coast TV News reporter Charles Reinert. Charles, the first flakes started falling around noon today. Charlie, I was out there right around when those first flakes started to fall and I could see people taking a look up in the sky and with a little bit of wonder in their eye, even a couple of people trying to catch some snowflakes on their tongue. As of right now, after all this time later, you're still precipitating a little bit out here. I'm here in Milton right now. It's a little bit slick on the trails. So if you are going for a walk tonight, please be careful. But business owners did tell me that when the snow comes down and all of this wintry weather comes down from the sky, their profits, it goes up. Busy aisles at the Lewis Redner's today. Countless people flocks to the store to stock up on the essentials. Stocking up on fruits, vegetables, mixed stew, all that kind of stuff, you know. Some of the popular items today, milk, toilet paper, and water, and some snacks too. For some, the snowy weather hasn't stopped them from getting things done. We were already scheduled to come whether it was snow or not, so we're here. It was our time to stock up. Over at Best Days Hardware in Lewis, Erwin Wenner says when the weather outside is frightful... As soon as the white flakes started coming down, it uh, got busy. Business in the store is delightful. Definitely snow shovels today, uh, snow blowers, uh, we're selling a lot of bird food, birds need to eat, and uh, also ice scrapers that uh, are popular for the, uh, for the windshields. The cold temperatures are making their way through the coast, but it hasn't melted everyone's smiles. I think we have fun. I, I really do. A lot of customers we don't see at, uh, at various times we see today. Shopping through a winter wonderland. 
Now, everyone I spoke with today said they weren't too worried about this snowstorm, but they did say that they were probably going to be staying inside as much as they can and enjoying this weather from the warmth of their homes. I'm Charles Reiner, live in Milton tonight, Coast TV News. Thank you, Charles, and the first snowfall of the year. It's exciting, but as Charles was just talking about, it can make for dangerous road conditions. That's why Del Dot started working early this morning to prepare the pavement. Del Dot said the purpose of putting brine down before salt is that it gives the salt something to cling to. One Del Dot worker told us that snow plowing and salting may look like a fun job. It's actually, though, very stressful because people's safety, it depends on that. Now, snow plowing and salting may look like fun, but as I said, it, it can be a little tricky. I think we have fun. I, I really do. A lot of customers we don't see at, uh, at various times we see today. Sorry about that, guys. That was the wrong sound bite there. Speaking of the roads, let's take a live look outside right now. You can see that a blanket of snow is starting to build, at least collecting on the grass. This camera at the intersection of Route 1 and Route 16 is just outside of Milton. You can see it there. And as always, when winter driving conditions hit, it's recommended that you drive slower, adjust your speed on the roads, take control, as in don't rely on cruise control when it's wet and slippery out, and create space. Keep a little more distance between you and other cars when you are on the road. Due to the weather hitting the state, the Milford School District has decided that they will delay the start of their school day tomorrow by 90 minutes. Schools will not be serving breakfast and there will be no morning pre-K. And this brings us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know, how do you feel about all this snowfall? Let's take a look at the results. Earlier this evening, it was pretty heavily in favor of I love it. And it's still leaning that way, 62% to 38%. That's the group of people saying, I just hate it. If you haven't voted yet, you still can at CoastTVNews.com or use the Coast TV mobile app. Now to presidential politics. This is a live look at the White House. And while it's a long way from Iowa, a whole group, oh, it's a little dark there. A whole group of people in Des Moines tonight hope that this is their home of the future. As you can see, the voters Turning out this evening, despite the frigid weather, it was an early and dominant win for former President Donald Trump in tonight's Iowa caucus. He secured the victory by double digits. That's as predicted in NBC News poll. And that shows Republican caucus goers ranked immigration as the most important issue facing the country. It was followed closely by the economy. NBC's Bree Jackson is in Washington. Former President Trump blowing away his competition in the first in the nation caucus. The GOP frontrunner's win comes despite record low temperatures in Iowa and Trump fighting for criminal indictments, sending a strong message about his firm grip over the Republican Party. The battle for second place is ongoing between former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. The runner-up in the Iowa caucuses could still prove to be a threat. In fact, Trump came in second in 2016. Republican presidential hopefuls trailing him in the 2024 race hope tonight's performance gives them a boost heading into the New Hampshire primary next week. In Washington, Bree Jackson, and I'm just taking a quick look at the numbers that are coming in. Now, obviously, we know Donald Trump has the victory there by a big, large number, but it's still very close. Right now, Ron DeSantis has about 21% of the votes in Iowa, and Nikki Haley just behind him at 19% of the votes. We'll be tracking that to see if it changes overnight, and you're going to get an update here on Coast TV News in the morning. Meanwhile, former President Trump is going to go from Iowa to New York. That's where he's going to attend the first day of his damages trial in writer E. Jean Carroll's defamation case on Tuesday. Then from there, he heads to New Hampshire for a rally. I'm Mallory Metzner. Here's a look at just some of the things happening across Delmarva. A Monday morning crash into a building knocked its glass in. Take a look at this photo. The Salisbury Fire Department posted this on Facebook and says it happened at 215 East Vine Street, which is the address to the Salvation Army Family Store. 
The weather has impacted the next accessory dwelling unit policy discussion in Maryland. The task force reviews the laws and placement options for these extra living spaces that are located on properties with single family homes. The meeting on Tuesday will now be held online starting at 9.30 a.m. Saddle up and buckle in. Two big events are coming back to Salisbury. The Wicomico Youth and Civic Center says it takes over 100 truckloads of dirt and heavy machinery to host the Lone Star Rodeo this weekend and No Limits Monster Trucks event next weekend. And that's just a look at some of the things happening across Delmarva. I'm Mallory Metzner. Happening now, the nation is celebrating the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on what would have been Dr. King's 95th birthday. In Washington, D.C., the annual MLK parade pushed forward despite the weather that the city was fighting. In Montgomery, Alabama, they celebrated Martin Luther King Jr. Day with a parade and a special church service. Vice President Kamala Harris visited Columbia, South Carolina for one of the capital city's traditions, and a number of, event of events were held here along the coast. Meanwhile, Senator Chris Coons even posted a video to Twitter. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. came to Wilmington, Delaware in 1960, stood on the stage at Howard High School on the east side and spoke to a packed house. He challenged us as Delawareans to be a state and a nation more focused on justice, on dignity and inclusion. A nice message there from the Senator. We are thrilled to announce that Coast TV News has a brand new Facebook page. For the latest in news, for exclusive content and interactive discussions, make sure to visit and follow our new page. You can just head over to Facebook.com slash Coast TV NBC or scan the QR code that appears on your screen now. Stay connected with us. And we're just getting started. Still to come, give the money back. A progressive group is asking politicians in Maryland to return donations from a January 6th rioter. Cold and snowy weather will continue all the way through the week and I'll let you know just how cold it will get and when we'll see even more snow coming up just after the break. The new Milford Food Bank officially open. How the bigger facility is going to help serve families in need. We're back in just 60 seconds. A wet crawl space is a lurking hazard, inviting mold, rot, and structural worries. The answer is Brazier's Crawl Space Encapsulation. Our specialist tailors the solution to your exact crawl space. Our expert team cleans and upgrades your crawl space into a pristine, protected environment. And we only use April Air dehumidifiers, reliable and robust, complete with a five-year warranty. Take the first step to a drier, safer home. Call Brazier's or visit our website. Your peace of mind is just one call away. Embrace a new journey and kickstart your New Year's resolution in a brand new Subaru from Gateway Subaru. Discover the 2024 Subaru Outback, which represents Subaru's commitment to safety, innovation, and adventure. Right now, lease a new 2024 Subaru Outback for only $2.99 a month, or take advantage of financing rates as low as 4.9%. Plus, Gateway has more in-stock Subaru inventory to choose from than other dealers have combined. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. This is Coast TV News at 11. Here's some food for thought. Imagine a world where people not only have the food they need to survive, but they also know how to prepare and even make money from that food. Well, that's the vision of the Food Bank of Delaware and what they had in mind spending the last three years building their new Milford branch. As Coast TV's Tori Seagrave shows us, the new facility is more than just a larger building to operate out of. The ribbon is cut and the food is spread as Milford celebrates going from this rather small facility to this 70,000 square foot building. Volunteers like Sarah Biondello say this new building will help them to help others more efficiently. It's, it's going to be great, not only the size, but before we were in two different buildings. So the warehouse and the volunteer room and the offices were in one building and then the pantry, which is what this is, was in a separate building. And so now we're connected and for, for volunteers it's going to be great because if we're here and they may need more help over there, we can just go over there or we can kind of run back and forth. What makes this new facility different from the old one are the expansion of culinary classes, a cafe ran by graduates, a logistics training program, 
and a pantry that acts as a grocery store, so people in need of donations can choose what items they want with more independence. CEO and president of the Food Bank of Delaware, Kathy Konevsky, says today one in nine Delawareans do not have enough food to eat. We are doing whatever we can to help put food on people's tables, whether that means putting it in backpacks, putting it in their cars if they're coming to us. Um, but almost, almost equally important is helping people get uh, footing and get themselves on a track to help them sustain their livelihood. Applications are being accepted for the first culinary class in the new building. That begins on January 29th. Cafe facility is open for breakfast and lunch where you can get a first-hand taste of what all is being taught at this new facility. I'm Tori Seagraves in Milford, Coast TV News. Here's an update to a crash we reported on last night. These are some photos of a crash that happened on in Del Mar on Conley Mill Road just before 2 p.m. Sunday. Del Mar police say a person was trapped inside the car on your screen you could see the damage to the windshield and how the car hit a tree. Police say the person was removed in about 10 minutes. Well, we've been dealing with a bit of wintry weather moving through the area throughout much of the evening hours and earlier in the afternoon. The snow moved into the area around 12, 1 o'clock this afternoon. It continued through about 8 to 9 p.m., but now it has kind of tapered off and our temperatures have actually risen above freezing at the immediate coastline in a location still below freezing where we're still dealing with some slippery conditions. Hershey Exteriors camera at the 45th Street Tap House in Ocean City though. It's cloudy. It's still a dreary evening out there. Temps though sitting at 40 degrees so it has risen well above freezing in Ocean City but there are some areas still dealing with a little bit of snow and sleet and freezing rain this evening. That is mainly across northern portions of Sussex County. That is up towards Milford, towards Bridgeville, Greenwood area. We're still dealing with some snow flurries. We're going to actually see precipitation wrap back around tomorrow morning in the form of rain showers. That will transition back into snow showers as cold air rushes back in. But for the next few hours, it's mainly going to be us drying out as temperatures start to rise. But a lot of moisture, as I was talking about, is still spreads all the way back into Mississippi, Alabama. All of this has to work its way through the region. So we're not done with the precipitation just yet. We will see more of it as we head throughout the daytime hours of Tuesday. Temperature wise, well, we're not dealing with any issues on those roadways where temperatures are above freezing. So that includes Rehoboth Beach, Bethany Beach, Ocean Pines, Ocean City. Everybody's along the coast above freezing now. But take a look at this. Milton. Milton, we're sitting at 33. Lewis sitting at 32. So we're just now starting to rise above freezing. So we're going to deal with some slippery roadway conditions for another hour or so. But temperatures will then rise above freezing. Milford, Greenwood, Seaford, temperatures upper 20s, low 30. So it's going to take a little while longer, probably another four or five hours before we see those temperatures really go above freezing. So those slippery roadways, they could persist through the morning hour. So certainly we have to keep an eye on that, especially up towards Milford. They already have delays in Milford for the chance of those icy roadway conditions. The rain snow line, that freezing line, uh, only going to go so far north before it starts to move back far, farther to the south. Right now, though, winds coming out of the east. That's why we're actually warming up because we're coming off the warmer landing. Take a look at this. Tuesday morning, 7 a.m. There's those rain showers I was talking about that could move back into the area. But they will be rain showers, temperatures upper 30s to low 40s. Here we go. As we head towards the afternoon hours, our winds are going to turn more out of the northwest. Cold air is going to rush back in. Tomorrow afternoon, we're actually going to see our temperatures fall below freezing in many locations. That's why we will have the chance of maybe some backside rain, snow, freezing rain, I should say, and snow showers tomorrow afternoon. So keep that in mind. That could cause a few slippery spots on those roadways briefly as that colder air rushes back in. And then as we head towards Wednesday morning, it's not any wintry precipitation we have to deal with. It's just how cold it's going to get. We're going to be down into the teens. Wind chills, they're going to tumble to the coldest that we have seen yet this year. Take a look at this, yet this winter, I should say. One degree in Dewey Beach, that's what it feels like Wednesday morning at 6.30 in the morning. Three degrees in Lewis, feels like two in Milton. Three degrees in Georgetown, it is going to be brutally cold. You're going to want to bundle up. You're going to want to wear multiple layers and then we stay cold throughout this entire week. Our Paul Davis restoration and home remodeling seven day forecast shows temps staying in the 30s and 40s for highs through next Sunday, and we have more accumulating snow by Friday. Hats and gloves, my friends. Thank you, Alex. Still to come, an Ellendale shooting, what investigators know, and more importantly, what they don't know yet. 
And next, continued fallout from January 6th charges brought against a former Maryland election official. Why politicians and money are involved in a way that goes to a new request. Johnny Janosik has what you need to make a fresh start for your home. Whatever your look, whatever your style, you'll find it all at our winter home sale. And now through Monday, you'll save up to 50%. Plus, get 0% APR financing till 2026. And instant discounts up to $500. Get this complete queen bedroom set, just $22.99.95. Or this all leather sofa, just $14.99.95. Don't miss the winter home sale. But hurry, it all ends Monday at Johnny Janosik. Finding a primary care that fits your needs can be challenging. At Delmarva Acupuncture, we offer patient-focused primary care that puts you first. We'll sit down with you and conduct a comprehensive exam where we'll identify any issues you're dealing with and talk you through a treatment plan so you can make the best health choices for your well-being. Offering same and next day appointments and direct access to our practitioner. Call now and schedule your primary care visit as soon as tomorrow at Delmarva Acupuncture and Wellness Center. Oh, you can do that for me? Stop hogging the new bathroom! I'm on the phone! Who are you on the phone with? Alex from Peninsula <laughs> Bath! What are you wearing, Alex from Peninsula Bath? Uh, khakis? And with that second bathroom, we'll give you an additional 10% off. Mercy! That's a great deal, Alex from Peninsula Bath. Call now to lock in your 10% discount off your second bath remodel. Thank you, Peninsula Bath. Villa Sorrento invites you and your family to join us for some of Delmarva's best authentic Italian cuisine. Experience the aroma of warm bread served at your table in a cozy atmosphere. Try seafood pescatore or pasta with grandma's gravy. Our New York style pizza and strombolis are a local's favorite. Top it off with cocktails, wine, and dessert. So for great food, good wine, great friends, good times, Villa Sorrento. That's a more. That's a nice. New tonight, more fallout from the charges against a former Maryland election official. 52-year-old Carlos Ayala is accused of taking part in the mob at the Capitol on January 6th and jabbing an officer with a flagpole. Tonight, the Lower Shore Progressive Caucus in Maryland is calling on leaders to renounce their ties with Ayala to return any campaign donations. The group condemning the violent actions of that day, including those Ayala is accused of, according to the Lower Shore Progressive Caucus, at least Ayala donated to at least nine politicians to the tune of thousands of dollars. They claim his largest contribution was in the form of three separate donations to Congressman Andy Harris for a total of $4,700. Delaware State Police are currently investigating a shooting incident in Ellendale. Late Saturday night, troopers were called to a home on Candy Lane following reports of gunfire. Troopers say they found the home had been hit multiple times with numerous shell casings recovered at the scene. Police said the two adults inside the home were not hurt. The motive for the shooting, that's still unknown and no suspects have been identified. Champagne sales have lost some of their pop in 2023. Following a few record-breaking years coming out of COVID-19 lockdowns, a report from a trade association committee, Champagne, finds that total shipments last year from France fell to 299 million bottles. That is a decline of 8.2% compared to 2022 and marks nearly a return to pre-COVID levels in 2019 when 297.3 million bottles were shipped. Other wine and spirits have seen sales ease a bit as well as people cut down on stockpiling their bars at home in favor of restaurants and bars now fully reopened. It seems like the uber wealthy can still pop their bottles though. The five richest people in the world all need to get bigger wallets. The billionaires have seen their net worth more than double, ballooning 114% since 2020. According to Oxfam's annual inequality report, Elon Musk has the top bank book with nearly $246 billion as of November. That's a 737% rise from 2020. That takes inflation into account. The other four richest on earth, LVMH chairman Bernard Arnault, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, Oracle founder Larry Ellison, and Berkshire Hathaway CEO Warren Buffett, respectively. 
There is less than 24 hours left to apply for the open position on the Dagsboro Planning and Zoning Commission. Applications must be received at the Dagsboro Town Hall no later than January 16th by 4.30 p.m. The town says those applying for the position must live or be a property owner in Dagsboro for the last three years. Coming up in sports tonight, the Sixers started off a big day in Philly Pro Sports, and they did it with the reigning MVP returning to the lineup. And next, the Berlin Sports Complex back on the table, the steps that the mayor is taking to make it happen, and the voices that are backing him. Regardless of the team you support on Sundays, the joy of victory is right around the corner. So is getting an affordable, reliable new Toyota. And with plenty of vehicles in stock, there's less waiting and more saving, making now a good time to score with a great deal. Like special financing as low as 3.99% on reliable legends, RAV4 and Highlander. It's game on at Toyota, official partner of the NFL. Toyota, let's go places. If you're experiencing ringing, humming, or buzzing in your ear, you may have tinnitus. Tinnitus is a condition that can make it hard to understand speech, relax, or sleep. If you have any of these symptoms, the first step is getting your hearing tested. The audiologist will be able to diagnose your problem and prescribe you devices that can alleviate your symptoms. Hearing aids like Cygnus even offer tinnitus programs that can offset tinnitus noises. To learn more information about mast audiology, visit DelmarvaExperts.com. The Start Something New Sales event. Right here at Preston Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram of Millsboro. Scan this QR code to receive your exclusive offer. Lease a new 2024 Jeep Wrangler 4xe for $4.97 a month for 36 months with just $39.95 down. The Jeep Wrangler 4xe is the best-selling plug-in hybrid in America. With every new purchase, you'll get our Preston for Life lifetime engine guarantee. Order online at MillsboroCDJR.com. The Start Something New Sales event. Right here at Preston Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Cars cost less with Preston. 30 years ago, a historic ice storm knocked out power for 10 days. Trees fell across power lines and ice snapped utility poles. Our Delaware Electric Cooperative team worked around the clock to help those we serve. Three decades later, we've applied the lessons we learned during the storm to make our grid stronger. Through the dedication of our employees, co-op power has never been more reliable. And while the weather is unpredictable, DEC's commitment to doing what's best for our members will never change. At Spicer Brothers, we're not just about installing roofs. We're about protection, durability, and peace of mind. Our team of skilled professionals can install your last roof using the highest quality materials in as little as one day. And we make it easy with on-site design and digital proposal. And right now, save $1,000 off your new roof. Plus, have peace of mind with our Platinum Plus Lifetime Warranty. And the best part, enjoy no interest and no payments for 18 months. Call today and schedule your free in-home consultation because you deserve the best. A long-discussed sports complex in Berlin is back on the table. Mayor Zach, Ty Zach Tindall is sending a letter to the Maryland Department of Budget and Management requesting $1.2 million in state funding. That money would be used to perform a site assessment and start the preliminary design of a youth sports complex. The Berlin and Ocean City Councils have approved the move by the mayor. That would be good for the children, be good for the seniors, be good for everybody. I hope it goes through. I've heard that it was voted down, but if it's back on the table, I'm all for it. If approved, the sports complex would include 8 to 10 tournament quality, multi-purpose fields, jogging trails, a playground, and restrooms. In Delaware, the general firearm hunting season is now through the 21st. The state says archery and crossbow season, that's been extended to January 31st. Muzzle loader season, loader season starts on January 22nd to the 28th. Reminder to all Redden State Forest visitors, including hikers and cyclists, to stay safe and wear bright clothing. The Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. Good evening, sports fans. The big man returned to the floor tonight in South Philly after missing three straight games due to a knee injury. Reigning NBA MVP Joel Embiid made his presence known at the Wells Fargo Center in an MLK Day matinee against the Houston Rockets. 
Number 21, back in the middle for Philly. He made his presence known early on. We start four minutes left in the opening quarter. Rockets up one, and B dots up Patrick Beverly. Pat Bev, one of a few guys in double figures. He had 11. Later in the same quarter, there's no stop in the MVP on his move to the hoop. The ballerina steps for the bucket and one for Embiid. Sixers up 14 at the end of the first. On to the second. Sixers now up 20. Embiid through the contact. That's why they put the square on the glass. Another and one for JoJo. Philly up 19 at the half. On to the fourth. Embiid lets Amen Thompson fly by. Deposits two from his office at the free throw line. 41 points, 10 rebounds for the reigning MVP. But don't forget about this guy. Tyrese Maxey puts Cam Whitmore to bed. Steps back into the big three-pointer. The All-Star hopeful added 27 points and seven assists for the Sixers. The Rockets chipped away, but Philly goes on to win comfortably 124 to 115. The Sixers will try and rest up quick as tomorrow they welcome in the reigning NBA champs and two-time MVP Nikola Jokic. When the two centers matched up last year in Philly, Embiid tallied 47 points and 18 rebounds in a big Sixers win. That'll do it for sports. Have a great night. Coming up today marks National Beagle Day. Some history behind the well-loved bagel day, rather, breakfast item. Stay tuned on Coast TV News at 11. Delmarva's hit music station, 1025 WBOC. Is the name of your bank changing again? The Farmers Bank of Willard has been a local independent bank for nearly 100 years. When you bank local, your money stays here in our community, where it benefits our local businesses, farms, and families. The Farmers Bank has real people ready to help and world-class features like our free mobile banking app with Locket debit card security, a smart sense savings program, and free checking with no minimum balance. Stop paying extra fees and switch to the Farmers Bank of Willard, where people matter. Have you bought a house in the last decade, but it's just not quite big enough? At Paul Davis, we can design and build you a brand new addition or remodel your whole home from start to finish. With over 50 years experience of building and restoring homes, we've made the process quick and easy while making it affordable. Call Paul Davis today and one of our design consultants can be at your home as soon as tomorrow to give you a free estimate for your new addition or whole home remodel. Or visit our new showroom in Salisbury, Maryland, 100 Marble Road. Hi, this is Amber Brazier. Welcome to Brazier's Carpet Care. Drop off your rugs today or have us pick them up and let our state-of-the-art cleaning plant do the rest. Many methods are used to clean rugs, from air dusting to remove fine soil to soaking in our whirlpool. Hand knotted rugs are carefully washed, rinsed with cold water and wrung out, followed by a trip through the centrifuge before entering our controlled temperature drying room. We also repair all types of rugs from braided to hand knotted. Quality cleaning by people who care. That's Brazier's Carpet Care. Hi, it's Peter Guida, and on this episode of McQueen Classics, we're going to define what a classic car is. Any car 25 years or older, 1997 and below. So if it's languishing in your garage, we're going to come get it. We're going to turn it into cash. We're going to help you sell it. Seriously, we're going to come get it. It's time for the ride of your dreams from McQueen's. Behind the new Redners on Route 9 in Lewis. Tomorrow at 4 on Coast Life. Pondering a career in real estate? Get the scoop on getting licensed and key tips to succeed in the industry. Plus, a must-see drama that challenges and captivates from Possum Point players. Coast Life tomorrow at 4 on Coast TV. Past champions return to Jeopardy! Champions Wildcard. All of them hoping to punch their ticket right into the Tournament of Champions. Tuesday at 7.30 on Coast TV. Plug in the toaster. January 15th is National Bagel Day. National Day calendar credits Polish Jewish immigrants with first baking them in New York. It says the International, the International Baker Bakes Union started in 1907. From there, the love of bagels has spread. Speaking of spread, don't forget the schmear. Well, we have been dealing with a bit of wet weather, snowy weather, really, since about midday today. And we're going to actually transition over to rain as we head towards tomorrow morning. So you may want to grab that umbrella as you're heading out the door this evening's umbrella giveaway winner, Sam Thorpe from Long Neck, Delaware. Congratulations. Tomorrow, it is going to be a little bit of a mixed bag. We are going to start out with some rain showers as temps climb up to about 40 degrees. We transition to snow showers again tomorrow afternoon as temps fall into the low 30s. It stays cold. It doesn't even get 
barely gets to 30 degrees on Wednesday. Back up into the low 40s on Thursday. More accumulating snow possible by Friday. And then we've got a really cold weekend on the way. Both days not reaching that freezing mark or just barely reaching that freezing mark. Warms up a lot next week. Thanks, Alex. And thank you for joining us for Coast TV News at 11. For more news, for more local weather, download our Coast TV News app. The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, that's up next. And we'll see you tomorrow for Coast TV News at 5 a.m. Have a great night.